And welcome back to the Lion Series Speaker. I'm your host, Hannah Guzman, coming at you with a special guest. But before we start this episode, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share with a friend so we can get the ball rolling. In this video, we have Maria Molina in the house. Woo -woo. Hey. <laughs> Maria is a dear friend of this platform. She's a yogi nutritionist, and she's going to talk to us about relaxing. So, Maria, how are you? Uh, all right, actually. A lot better now. <laughs> <laughs> you're a lot better that you're here with me. I'm super excited that you hopped on with us. Um, this is something that we want to showcase Latinos in Canada, your second generation. So I want to talk to you about your distinctive career path as a yoga instructor. How did that happen? How did you stumble across this career? It's It's been a journey, that's for sure. <laughs> um, and it's, yeah, if I were to sum it up, it'd be that road less traveled on the fucking dirt road <laughs> um can I swear on here <laughs> oh sorry <laughs> um but so yeah so it's a lot less traveled um I did the typical nine to five city job um and hated it I commuted two and a half hours um I did it for over five years of my life um and it, it made great money um and it was everything that I thought I was supposed to have um but then there was like this weird feeling inside that just kept growing and growing and growing and the situation that I was in wasn't great and I got anxiety and anxiety puts on stress um stress does a lot of freaking things to the body um I think it's the number one cause for disease but that's a whole other topic um but uh aside from that uh it's just yeah so I started yoga I googled it thanks to the internet and then it I wanted a natural way of healing and I started doing yoga for myself um and then from there I was like okay like there was one day when I had like this weird aha moment in class and I was like whoa like if this is how I can make myself feel I'm like why can't I offer that to others if that makes any sense um I didn't go in with that intention though. I went into it with like, if I can do this in my life, I was like in a studio. I was like, why can't I do it in life? So I started going to school for it in Toronto. I uh, did like my first yoga teacher training. And then at that studio, I met great senior teachers that just were awesome influences, started volunteering there and then started working there um ended up managing the studio which was super awesome um it was a great learning curve uh and then did a bunch of like just random searches like I go to communities and I'd be like hey like do you need yoga classes like do you need a yoga instructor like let me come in like it wasn't a job that you could just randomly indeed it's not it wasn't it was and it wasn't it was like so it was a complete 360 and it wasn't a nine to five it was a 7 p.m it was a 45 minute class it was a hey like I'm my dog just fucking or my dog just flipping ate uh something and is sick can you sub my class for me and it's like in 45 minutes and it's just like that's how I started um and it I was like oh my gosh like I was going from one place to the other it was a lot more traveling then I was noticing I also had time for myself. And I was like, whoa, I'm like, I can make a living out of this. And I was like, okay, cool. So I cut my hours down and left my logistics job. Well, that was probably not the greatest choice that I did. <laughs> um, things went real rough, real fast. Cause I, classes don't pay to for rent <laughs> yeah um they don't so that's why essentially I started managing the studio because that led me to steady income and that got me more involved with other communities so I started teaching where I do now at Seneca College which is pretty cool um and the one thing that I noticed that 
has changed over the years is when I started working at the studio and I started getting a lot of community feedback, the one thing that stood out to me having gained that foot in the door was that yoga wasn't accessible to everyone. Okay. And I knew that because the subway didn't run on Sundays where I came from to go to the studio. <laughs> so I, I was like, okay. So I had to volunteer in order to pay for my classes. And I knew a lot of people that had to do that too. So I was like, yo, I'm like, if this is a healing modality, I'm like, why, I'm like, why does it have to be so expensive for people to access? Mm. I'm like, I'm like, that's not right. So I started doing a lot of free classes in the community and I was like getting more networking, but less money at first, if that makes any sense. Um, and I was loving it. Somehow I always still had food and somehow bills were always paid. Yeah, I couldn't get a manicure. Yeah, I couldn't do certain things, but I was happy. That makes total sense. And, it, and networking is such a key essential just to establish any business, which is what you've done, right? It's not always the even exchange of money. It's sometimes the exchange of vibes and experience and connections that can serve your purpose later on, which is how you and I are friends because we understand that. Um, <laughs> I have to ask you another question. If you find somebody that's coming new to Canada, just in general, and they want to pursue a non-traditional path like yours of becoming a, a yoga teacher, uh, what would your advice be to them? Uh, do your research. Do your research. Um, if it's something that you love, you can find a way. Um, just know that you're going in there with a solid intention um, and keep that always in mind because it's not going to be easy. You're going to be doing a lot of stuff for free, probably at first. Um, and that's, that's, that's what it is. It's a lot of it is networking. A lot of it is getting to know people, getting that foot in the door, establishing a connection, establishing if you want to be there and that in and of itself makes it worthwhile. That makes you want to do it. That makes you want to go out. You don't want to go to work to to shitty people to rotten people mm -hmm. so you got to put that foot in the door and do your research I would say yeah so do your research now, <laughs> I am loving where this interview is going and right before we wrap it up I want to ask you if you saw yourself 12 years ago at the beginning of your 20s what would you have told yourself because this isn't so, I know I, I gotta hit you I, I would be <laughs> nice to you <laughs> yeah uh well, I didn't think I'd make it this far with what I chose to do, for sure. Um, if I were to tell myself something in my 20s, what was I doing in my 20s, man? Uh, I'd probably say, think twice, act once. <laughs> I like that. I like that. It was yeah. short and sweet and, and to the point, think twice. What was it? Think? Think twice, act once. <laughs> act once. And where can people find you? I know you mentioned Seneca, you're doing the yoga classes. Oh. What are some other academies or anything online related that they can look into? Yeah. Um, so I do um, work for a workout platform that does daily stretching and mobility videos. Um, it's called Dynamic Cyclist. You can get a free trial on there. Um, it just does a lot of targets a lot of main muscle groups that uh, are common and tight amongst the body. Um, they have a coaching program on there in terms of getting yourself on a training platform for a healthy lifestyle and routine. We're hoping to launch a nutrition program in the next year once I'm certified. Um, and then there'll be meal plans on there. Uh, and you can also find me on the Seneca website where there's free IGTV classes and you can do yoga any time of the day for free on your own time. And what's a Seneca website? Uh, I can give it to you and you can post it in the link below because it's a separate um, community link for health and wellness that it's a free program. Thank you so much yeah. for being on with us and chatting <laughs> about how to get into our Zen mode and become less stressed human beings. We all know I need that. Uh, <laughs> do you have an Instagram handle where people can reach out to you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'll put that in the, I'll send that, you can put it in the link below, but it's uh, my last name, Molina, M-O-L-I-N-A, underscore Maria, 0321. That's where you can find you. Thank you so much for coming Please. on and chatting. Oh, thanks us. for having me. Always. Thank you so much for watching the Lion Series Speaker. I'm your host, Hannah Guzman. Take care. Peace.